Virgo. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo love reading. Virgo love tarot reading and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet. Virgo love messages reading. Virgo, this is a timeless reading meant for you, meant for you when you get here. This is a faded connection. You are here for a reason, means there is a message for you, perhaps more than one message. Either way, I'm really glad that you have found your way here. We're going to get right into your reading, but before we do, I just want to let you know that down below in the description, you'll find all the decks coming through. And probably the most interesting, that's way too many, <laughs> are the playlists. All zodiac signs, messages from your person, all signs, love readings, all signs, love tarot readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are many very long and detailed twin flame readings also in the playlists. Maybe you're just curious. In any case, there's a lot going on down there, so feel free to explore if you are inspired to do so. Please remember this is a general reading, a general love reading, a general tarot reading. So take what resonates for you and let the rest go. Also, before we begin, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This is a way to show support that really, truly helps so much more than you know. Watching, liking, sharing, reading, subscribing to the channel if you have not. Thank you so much for your support and let's see what is going on with you and your person, Virgo. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the queen of wands in reverse. Virgo. What is going on here? It's the knight of swords in reverse. The moon in reverse and the lovers card. Wow. Okay, so somebody here wants to open up and eventually will be communicating what is the truth for you, Virgo, because... We can see that they are clear what that is also for them, and that's they love you. It's the lover's card, as you can see. Gemini energy in you and, well, you and Gemini share Mercury, <laughs> the planet, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And we're seeing that here also in Libra, Mercury energy in the Knight of Swords. So there's a lot to say, but they're not saying it. This is somebody who could really change everything, I feel, Virgo, if they just opened up and they want to. They have the clarity. They want to bring it to you. They want to bring the truth. I feel it's coming. It's major arcana here. And again, that's how they feel. Can it be an offer coming? Possibly. We need a lot more than that, but we can see that they love you. This is where your person, your specific person, the person you're here for today, it's where their energy is the strongest. Of course, they're everywhere, but I'm really feeling it. Well, it's always here, but it's particularly strong here. We can see that they're not saying it because they're not confident. We're seeing the Queen of Wands here in reverse. So that's still, it's a cold energy. It's a hot and cold energy. It's really a hot and cold energy in terms of communication. Twin flame energy, if you are on a twin flame journey. Yeah, see, they have to let you go. But there, there's something they're needing to untangle here. It's the Four of Pentacles. It's the sudden Capricorn energy. Were you in a long-term connection or was that something that you were heading toward or was on the table, pun intended, because it's still here. They haven't let you go, but there's something that they're also having a hard time letting go. It can't even be that this is around, well, yeah, themselves, their ego. Another commitment, a commitment to themselves, you know, but it, of course it can be a romantic connection. Family of origin, friends, money work, cultural, religious differences. Let's see, there's still a lot that we need to see here. Soulmate energy as well. And well, yeah, this is somebody who there's a lot of self-actualization going on. And it's interesting because Virgo, that's coming through for you in the lover's card today. And that's also the owls. The owls are 
all about inner transformations, self-actualization, something in this love connection we can see is transforming. For sure, your person wanting to communicate, they're having a really hard time coming and can it be whatever's going on in this Four of Pentacles, of course. And that's the Sun and Capricorn energy, and that's the Sun energy as well. So there's an outcome that they want, which is long-term energy, but they're trying to figure something out here. And we can see that they don't quite have the confidence here to say everything that they want to say that they will be saying eventually. Are they coming here, whoa, with a love offer? Highly possible. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So we already know that this is the end of a cycle. And what is that cycle? Not talking, not hearing from your person, not hearing the truth, not getting some clarity. That's changing here. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a turning point here we can see in this connection. It's a completion of a cycle and it's a new cycle. And that's catty corner here with the moon in reverse, Pisces energy. Gemini and Cancer also coming through, of course. It's a major arcana here. Also Neptune energy. It's a lot of dreamy energy, a lot of, well, yeah, you know, it's the moon card, illusions, and some hiding of feelings, some deception possibly, too, that can be in the way of love, but really, this is a lot about the emotions and feelings here in communication. We see that they're clear, maybe they're deceiving themselves is what I'm hearing. They're clear how they feel, and they're bringing that truth to you. Look at this. It's the lover's card. It's the moon in reverse and it's the wheel of fortune. This is also deducing to a 10. And my throat chakra <laughs> is going crazy. And that's the new beginning, but that's also telling us that there is potential. I mean, we see that. But it's... It's also based around a particular opportunity. So both their opportunity to spin this Wheel of Fortune and are you still there? And what is the timing here? It's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay. Virgo, is this you? It's Venus and Taurus energy. I think it might be. You've been waiting for... What have you been waiting for? Have you been waiting literally to hear from your person about how they feel because we see that they know how they feel and that is going to be coming to you. It's really clear because they're just not communicating everything that they want to say. It's the Knight of Swords, you know. The Knight of Swords has a lot to say, wants to change everything. The Swords are transactional. That's clarity. Clarity in relationships, communication. Here is the clarity and here's the truth. Here is the change. This is changing. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The lack of communication. The lack of clarity. The lack of coming here. This is the other thing I want to tell you. And we're going to continue talking about that. This is also yours. Minor Arcanas. Day-to-day -day energy. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes change on a dime. <laughs> on a card. The future is not fixed. This lack of confidence in coming here, we see very clearly, is changing. This is somebody who loves you. They're clear that they love you. They're wanting to bring that truth to you. And this is literally what you've been waiting for. But how long have you been waiting to hear that? And what else have you been waiting for? Because this is where you've been in the Seven of Pentacles. This is an energy of delay, you know, of waiting for a particular waiting. Waiting. You know, it's the slowest moving energy. It's the pentacles. That seven is taking us into, well, yeah, it's an energy of, you know, assessing everything, controlling what you can and just letting go of what you can. And that's what you've been doing. And you're just, you're getting tired of it. This is that energy of saying, I'm really sick of waiting. It's catty corner with your person's energy where it's strongest. And it's also both of you here totally lost in a world. There's still a lot of love here. This is Archangel Raphael here to help heal what is broken, to bring happiness and love. It's the planet of love too. It's Venus. And as I channel for you in real time, Venus is still in retrograde. So things are a little bit wonky in case you've been wondering. You might not be here in real time. Are you still here? I think you're still here, but boy, are you close, aren't you? As you wait for them to untangle this, because they're not letting you go, but there's something in their life they need to untangle. 
and it's what is holding them back quite literally, but we see that they will be. Will they be in time? Because is this also spinning? I have a feeling that you might also be in and out of that energy because I don't think you've let your person go either. And there is the lack of confidence also here in the Queen of Wands with you. This is the energy of love. This is the, well, obviously the sunflowers and they're connected to the sun. It's the outcome. That's the sun. That's the source. That's the crown chakra. That's working things out. It's in reverse, which is putting the sun in reverse, which is a temporary energy of waiting. And we know that, but how long has that been? You know, before we get to this cycle and they tell you how they feel and what else have you been waiting for? Because you, I feel like it's spinning for me today because you're also still here. You're both still here. Have Not having left, I wanna say but your person taking forever to come. How much longer are they gonna take? Eight of Cups, look at this. Here's the thing, there's two things going on here. This is both connecting to your person. So we have somebody who either ghosted you or pulled away from this connection, ran away, ran away from the emotions, especially how they feel. There's five cups stacked up here at the bottom. They look empty, it's Mars and Scorpio energy. That's the Five of Cups. That's the heaven, well, yeah, you, having left, feeling like they don't love you, abandoning the connection. I mean, it's all here. It's really very clear. They love you, but they left you feeling like they didn't. Did they ghost and just stop responding or stop emotionally giving, emotional unavailability? Or was it a slow withdrawal? Either way, we can see that they left here and they regret it because this is how they, they know how they feel and they know they need to tell you this. We're seeing the two of cups here as well and they're leaving, they're leaving it behind, that's the thing. There's a feeling of regret as they're leaving. What went on in this connection? The two of cups here, Venus and Cancer, those look empty too. It's like a reversal energy for me because that's separation, it's the breakup energy. It's also the love, was there a something that was supposed to be bigger in this connection that they ran from. Proposal, some type of new beginning or something in your connection that they, they got scared from. Whatever the case is, that is the disconnect energy. I mean, I can feel this, you know, it's squeezing my heart. And then we have one cup here. You know, what? what is that cup? could be the ace of cups but you know what that cup is for me today that's the king of cups because this is somebody who really loves you has a lot more feelings for you than they've been letting on we see that and that's it's the ace of cups in many ways also leaving something behind it's a, a spinning energy for me it's a reversal but it's happened it's it's reversing in real time like you can as they leave you can see it turning and that's being let down that's disappointment we're going to talk about you here as well and that's also some king of cups energy for me of holding back how they feel and it's spinning around but this is somebody who is afraid to ad admit that or there's something they need to change here they're wanting to come over here look at this owl our owl here, <laughs> our transformative owl, all about self-actualization here, not letting go, eventually flying over here to the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius are here, fixed signs, they don't like change. So they're having a hard time here. So the, the question is, you know, by the time they get here, are they gonna be too late? Because it, it, it's a super slow energy the pentacle energy. So how long have they been in that energy? And then here's you too. What you're thinking about this eight of cups of leaving. We see that in the seven of pentacles. You love this person. It's clear. It's also clear that they love you, but I don't think that you're hearing that. You know, they're not saying that to you. And there's something else here we see that's going on within commitments in their life, maybe to themselves. Third party energy in the way I feel like of your person, you know, could be a lot more, of course, and it can be really religious, cultural differences, family of origin, friends, 
other romantic connections. Are they going to be fast enough? That's what I'm wondering. And these are really clearly spinning off for you. It's the Three of Wands. This is the Sun and Aries energy. And this is the energy of moving here. I feel like everybody's here. And here's the thing. They need to get they have to get a move on. I feel like, because this is the thing. You're both here, but what is the third wand? You know, what is the pentacle? What is the wand? It's the energy of love. It's the heart. It's matters of the heart. Because they're both here looking out at the divine, all this emotional energy. And also look at that sun blaring, the source, the crown chakra too. It's finding a solution. The sun is, is, you can see it's going down, but it's illuminating everything, all the emotional energy here. And that's also the crown chakra. And that's finding a solution, really thinking about it. The divine, divine timing, communication growth. This is a card of I want to say expansion, you know, and that's taking something farther, including themselves. And it can be physical travel. It can, and here's the thing. You're also here. You're both here. You can see it because this is also what you're thinking about. They're thinking about what they did here and how to find a solution because the sun is the conscious, you know, and that's the life force. And it's coming up and it's just showing you everything that you need to see. And then it's going down again. And there's the moon. That's the subconscious, of course, and it's shining on the moon and it's highlighting everything. Even here as they left, which they know in that moon in reverse too. I mean, look at that. That's the full moon and that's the sun in all its glory. That's the subconscious and the conscious and that's what creates that full moon. And we know that's all around emotions. That's the emotional energy and that's everything that's been hidden that they've been trying to hide. Maybe they didn't realize it, too, that it's like a rush. You know, it's coming up here. It's opening up. It's clarity. It's truth. I'm just wondering, because you're also here thinking about what you want to do. You're both here. You're both here. And the thing is, is, you know, if you're going to do this, you got to do it together. And that comes through also in the lover's card. It's the strength of two here. It's the strength of two, and you're both here. So what... What are you deciding? You know, because there's one over here too. There's one over here also just being held on to. Again, that energy for some of you that you're heading this way. Are they going to get to you fast enough? Wow. Page of Wands energy in reverse. Yeah, I mean, it's right here as you're waiting for this page energy. Look, right smack dab here in the middle of the truth and the huge new cycle here that they're afraid of. But I'll tell you, the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon card are going to win out here in this energy. It's the Page of Pentacles and it's coming in reverse. So we know that they're having issues within the commitment and something else in their life. That's the Page energy here for me today. It's in reverse. It, it can always be that somebody's younger, you know, chronologically. It doesn't mean that they are. They're just having trouble with this, you can see. But we also know that that's gonna be overridden here, even with the Knight of Swords. My throat chakra <laughs> is going nuts as I said that. And you're still connected to it though, look, because this is what you're waiting for too. This is the Six of Wands in the upright, Jupiter and Leo energy. And this is the energy of overcoming the challenges and the obstacles for this connection for the both of you. What are they? Well, there's five here. Those are the obstacles. Those are the challenges. Are they other people? You know, it's the energy of love. It's heart matters. Is it friends, family, cultural, religious differences within themselves? Can also be somebody here has been playing games. But look at this owl wearing floral laurel wreath. That's reunion energy. Wings, one wing open, holding on to the wand. And look what's there. That's a victory wreath. It's a reunion wreath. It's covered in flowers as well. And it's on the energy of love and it's on the fastest energy. So this can be a message that they're, that is coming in. And is that what you've been waiting for? Maybe for some of you, there is a coming together and physical, you know, seeing each other. We're going to keep going. And anyway, energies, outcomes change. But this is a message too. So that's also what you're waiting for. And it's around what they did. And it's also connecting here that that's what you need and you also need this moon in reverse you need 
this clarity, you need this truth, because that's the truth being revealed. That's the truth being revealed in this message to you from them, from your person. And that's what you you've been waiting for. And what is that truth for you? Well, obviously, you know what that is. We know it's, well, for one, we can see here, it's that they love you. But what else is it? Is it around this pentacle here? The one also that's in reverse, that they're having some trouble figuring out this connection. Well, they love you, but there's something in their life that they're needing to untangle. Yeah, it's the world card in reverse and the queen of cups. So here's the thing they came together. So this is not finished. We can see that it really needs healing. And this is also telling us that healing energy is coming in and it's a really emotional energy. It's the queen of cups really in touch with her emotions, healing energy of, of those around the queen of cups, cancer and energy, Neptune energy. And it's at the cliffs of Dover. I'm wondering that. So there's the cups. That's the queen of cups here. I wondered what that was. I still feel the King of Cups energy, but the Queen of Cups is also here to heal this because look, it's the world card in reverse. It's not finished, but it's not moving. There is a delay in here. There's a delay in the healing. There's a delay in this message. There's a delay in the message of saying how they feel, the communication. There's so much that they want to say to you and they're holding it back. You can literally see that here as well. And look what they're wanting to do. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Come over here and turn this Wheel of Fortune. This page who's struggling here, we see that. This is the divine energy, divine timing. It's the world card. It's the future, you know. It's communication. It's growth. It's Saturn energy, and it's in reverse. So we know that that is, well, obstacles. We know those are obstacles, soulmate energy in here and that's also telling us to get to what you've been waiting for here what is that is it just the message of how they feel is it what happened and is it someone something else whatever it is it's delayed and it won't be forever this will be getting worked out but the travel, the moving forward, and it can be physical travel, hasn't taken place yet. And also just the, the movement, I want to say, toward each other or toward you. We see that in the Major Arcana. And it's here right before the Wheel of Fortune when things start to move again. Because once this is turned, that is going to, that's taking us into a turning point in this connection. Which is coming in here and finishing some unfinished business. What is it? something life-changing that maybe they've been afraid of. Maybe it's just this healing energy that's life-changing, but I think this might be an offer. Because this is somebody preparing to bring something to you. Again, we can see the truth in a message regarding this Eight of Cups. Why did they do that? What happened here? But can it be a love offer that's bigger than that? For a lot of you, yes, because there's an energy here that, that, yeah, something was interrupted in that way. Maybe it was a proposal because that's the other thing with the world card. In reverse, there's something really big in here that was changing or was going to change everything and also what they have to say about it here. Look at this. But it got stopped. The Queen of Cups is here to offer this healing. I love this. Of course, it's the Queen of Cups, you know, this emotional healing energy. And that is so needed here. We can see it in the Eight of Cups. And when the moon was in the upright and things were being, my throat <laughs> chakra is going crazy. Things were being held back. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. Whoa, is this the offer? This is the thing, yeah. You're not communicating though. It's minor arcana. It's the three of pentacles, of course. It's the sun and Capricorn energy. So that's putting the sun once again in reverse. It's a temporary energy. It's just, there's a depression around it, you know, a sadness of waiting. For the communication, look. Was there an argument here? I'm wondering. It could have been that there was some discord here. 
you know, you're kind of looking at each other here. This has Hierophant energy for me too. You know, it's sort of like holding up the wing and saying, okay, let's talk about this. Because these pentacles can't be, they're just sitting here. They can't grow, they can't be stacked up, they can't be planted unless you both are talking about this connection and this commitment. And unless you're both on the same ground, <laughs> same page, you know, and that's building the connection or rebuilding the connection to here. So were you in the Ten of Cups? Were you on your way there? There's still hope, we can see that. This is a very loving, beautiful, energy also family energy for some of you and that's going to be mean something different for everyone we already know that and you know can it be blending families as well introducing families whatever the case this is a new cycle here this is new beginnings this is two people who really love each other i feel and things are going to be changing for you but there's a lot to work out there's a lot of communication that's still not happening we can see that will this message be the kicking off point you know that sixth wand which is also this is again it's the six of wands it's jupiter and leo energy and jupiter is the planet of planet of expansion which we also see that expansive energy in the three of wands and the sun and aries energy it's the planet of well, prosperity and hope and optimism and luck too, which is interesting because we're seeing the wheel of fortune, right? It's the cycles of life. One minute you're up, one minute you're down. It's a faded connection you were definitely destined to meet. And this is a new start. And it, it, I feel like it's coming through in this message here. It's a deep soulmate connection. It's someone you feel like you've known forever. We've got to get this three of pentacles back in the upright. It's a it's a collaborative energy. It's teamwork, you know, to get these pentacles so that they can grow together because everybody has to be on the same page. And obviously communication needs to happen and clarity and truth. And what does that mean for you to get here? Love offer for me. Yeah. It's the end of a cycle. We already know that. It's a renewal. So again, are you going back in here? Were you already there? This is wanting to be your overall energy today. And is that offer only a message of everything they want to say? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, look at your reading. You know, it's looking suspiciously like it's a pretty big offer here, Virgo. A really big offer. It's somebody who's been maybe afraid of that too. You know, and maybe that's a lot of what's going on here that's going to be coming through. We're going to bring in another deck. So we're shuffled and ready to go, but I want to move the energy a little more. This deck is in German. As you know, I am in the Austrian Alps, a Germanic country. I've been here for a really long time, <laughs> if you don't know. But you won't miss anything because yeah, it's, there's not a lot of writing on it. You'll see the card, and of course, I'll tell you. So let's see what's coming on in here in the way of maybe there's some clarity that needs to come through, some validation. Sometimes there are some questions that we want to have answered. Sometimes something's coming in that, <laughs> you know, just throws us off course completely. Let's see. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Oh, it's the Wheel of Fortune again. Oh, yeah. So that's a pretty strong validation, Virgo, that this is a turning point in this connection. It's a lot of Jupiter energy here. That's luck is on your side, I want to say. This is not Pisces and Sagittarius energy, but they're here because Jupiter is here. And of course, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius as well. Things are changing, ready or not. <laughs> it's the planet of prosperity and expansion. There's strong Jupiter influence here. It's coming here and turning this. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is... I don't really know what else I can tell you. <laughs> but somebody here is figuring some things out. Is optimistic that you're still going to be there and I feel like you're still optimistic that things are going to work out but you're definitely here you know waiting for this 
waiting for this message connected to this lover's card to this offer. Is it, are you going to already be out the door or off somewhere flying off here? And it just comes out of nowhere, maybe. Because it can be that you're just not even expecting this. But I think that you are. Then again, you're, you're dangerously close to being, you know, out of here. Whether you're putting a pin in it or you're just saying that's it. You obviously love your person. I think you're waiting here. And this wanted to be your overall energy. And is that three? That's too many. Sometimes we never get an overall energy, you know? I'm going to turn it a little bit more. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. It's the hermit card. Interesting. Yeah, that's both of your energy, too. And that's your energy, quite literally, Virgo. Virgo and Mercury energy. This is where you go to get clarity. It's where you go to figure out what you want. Spiritual illumination. This is a very, well, yeah, this is a very spiritual connection. I mean, it's just, there's no question about it. And you're both here thinking about this. This is co-creation with Source. And it's also with yourself. And you're both very much here in that nine. You know, that's, we already know that things are coming to fruition here attaining this wisdom you know to figure it out look at that the walking stick you know coming from a long journey here look at that long journey and that's we know that you have been you've had a lot of time apart and that's still going on and this is telling us that this is literally reflecting on this time apart from each other we know that the breakup energy is here and it's a validation of that and for you it's setting some new boundaries as well. And it's also understanding each other's love language. And it's right here with the lover's card. Lots of reflection and contemplation going on as things are just about to change here. That world card is spinning. <laughs> it's almost always spinning for me, I want to say. But in particular today, the Ace of Swords wanting to show itself at the bottom of the deck. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is the clarity, which we know that they have. This is somebody's getting, somebody is preparing to come here because they are figuring out what they want. You both are, but we can see that in particular where their energy is the strongest. This is for sure how it's coming in for me. It isn't a message. It can be for some of you, there is a connection to friends and family, of course, because that's the Ten of Cups, you know, and there's a strong family energy around that. You see the little, the little children, baby owls, or some of you may have children together. It doesn't mean that everybody here does, of course not. And I'm also feeling that some of you, and it's definitely not for everybody, but there are some of you in that energy that that was part of the plan. So this family energy can be resonating for you in that way. But family is so different, you know, the definition of that. And, well, yeah, it's, it's also maybe blending families, creating just a life together. You know, it's a family, too. It doesn't need to be everything else. And this is also new beginnings when there's little baby, baby owls in our case today. <laughs> the energy, the loving energy still flowing between you. Those ten cups right there in the rainbow, which is all about hope. And that rainbow comes after, after a storm, you know, after what we know has been going on here, the separation time that you've had together, the breakup energy in this eight of cups. The clarity is, well, yeah, <laughs> this is somebody here who knows. Somebody's standing on the sword as well. Look, leaning against the sword, looking at the fiery skies. This is not a, well, I guess you could say, yeah, there's Venus energy in here because Libra's here. You know, we could, we could, <laughs> everybody's here really. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So Saturn is here, Mercury is here, and Venus, the hottest planet. Somebody leaning on that sword, the transactional so sword. 
feeling tongue-tied. Communication and truth, and also that's the clarity. It's really tall. It's been difficult, I feel, to get there. Is everybody still here in the hermit energy? It kind of feels like it. I feel this calming water energy, but that then it, it's it's a peaceful I, it's a peaceful feeling of this connection, and it hasn't always been. I realize that, and you can see here the sword. It so it hasn't been easy, you know, as you've been waiting here for it, contemplating what you want to do, and your person trying to bring it. They have been afraid to. They have so much they want to say to you, Virgo. There's so much they want to say and there's so much healing energy coming through here. And I feel like you've been waiting for that. That's the Neptune energy. It's the dreamy energy. And it's also like, well, has this been an illusion? Because that's also the moon card there, right? As you contemplate what you want to do. And look, as I, I want to show you this, it's the Six of Swords in the upright. It's Mercury and Aquarius energy. It's turning into wanting to show bottoms up. And that's telling us that it is time. It's necessary now. This is Aquarius energy and it's Mercury. And that's also your ruling planet. It's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. Everybody knows. And move past what? The heartbreak around this. Communication, a whole new cycle here. Figuring out what you want. And you hearing. Hearing that they love you. I feel like it's really important. And either putting this Ten of Cups back on the table or repairing what was happening here because this was in reverse for me it's a broken connection and you know for some of you it might even be a legal connection but this is putting that back together or just getting there in the first place it's what you're waiting for and it's time because the hermit energy is that separation energy it's you know the time apart here and figuring out who was saying and doing what and what did that mean you know the love language New boundaries, yeah. <laughs> and that's also what's coming through here for me as you think about what you want to do. But everybody needs to move past that, whatever you're going to do, because you have free will. Because it's the three of swords for both, I feel like. It's like higher self and ego energy on one hand. Look, your person coming past that, holding on to that second sword. One, two, taking us into the two of swords. Libra making a decision or a compromise. You know, and it's like the child within, you know, it's higher self ego energy as they reach up here. And then it's also the two of you. I mean, you see it in both of the swords and that's the three of swords and the three of swords, the Saturn and the Libra energy. And that's the heartbreak and the loss and the sadness and that it's time to move past that now and communicate. It's really clear for me. It's the seven of wands and what is coming through here. Yeah. It's the Knight of Cups coming in. So this is it's the Prince, Princess, Charming energy. And that's the Scorpio and the Pluto energy. The Pluto energy, the, you know, the regenerative energy. Look at all that emotional. Look at all these emotions here. And the sun is coming right in front of the clouds. Lots of waves. And the cup is, is still being held on to through all of that. Full. A full cup. And it's coming here with the seven of wands in reverse. So this is what's interesting because this is more energy of you. It's the seven of wands and this is making me really sad. The seven of wands is Mars and Leo energy. And look, it's sort of protecting your heart, protecting your heart. And then it's a, I don't know if I can keep waiting for this. The prince as you can see here in this energy, this is the Knight of Cups. And this is, well, proposal energy. So we know that it can be that that got interrupted or that went wrong. But a proposal isn't always marriage. You know, of course, it's a new beginning. It's talking. It's whatever it was. Whatever it is that you've been waiting for here in the Seven of Pentacles now in reverse that you're thinking about not waiting any longer for. Maybe you already decided or you're just putting a pin in it. it we're seeing that it's very much... in. I hear, I feel like somebody's crying, you know, because this is making me really emotional because there's a lot of love here, but you're just, you've just been waiting for this person. And is the, is the Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups here, maybe doing a little bit of a spin? Yeah, because I do feel that that was also in reverse and that was the broken promise or promises. 
And that's the energy again of just saying, you know, I just, I don't know what I want to do because there is an element of, of needing new boundaries here because there were some that were crossed over. You're both here in the Four of Pentacles. We already know that, and it's a validation. It's the Four of Pentacles again coming back. And look, it's the Three Pentacles here being held in one hand and the other pentacle being looked at in the side eye. That's Here's the thing, it's much like the Three of Wands for me today. You're both here, but there's a different energy for you because your person hasn't, you, neither of you have let each other go. Four of Pentacles here. But there is something within your person, I feel, or their life that's needing to be untangled and also the connection because we see the Page of Wands in reverse as you're waiting here, as you're not communicating in the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And we also see that. So that's also you for me waiting for those pentacles here. That's the three, that's the communication for me around this connection. And holding this up, kind of looking, look a little perturbed, a little annoyed. <laughs> it's like a side eye and what's going on with the sky? It almost looks like a smoke, you know? But giving it a side eye saying, yeah, I'm waiting on this. I haven't let you go. I'm waiting to get this untangled, us. I'm waiting for us. We're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Virgo, yeah, we already see what's going on here. I'm feeling your heartache. I'm really feeling this heartache. They love you, and they're really trying to come here with a message. And things really are going to be changing in a really big way. At least we see that in the cards. You know, are you still going to be here? Because it really is going somewhere else now. This is very much a new cycle. Channeled love messages, Virgo. What do you want to say to your Virgo? Messages from their higher self as they reach here for that second sword to make a decision. And is there a compromise around this? Because that's bringing in the Two of Swords. It's also putting the Three of Swords in reverse here. And here's the other thing. Whoa. Because there's their higher self, look, reaching to make that decision to communicate, bring you the truth and the clarity, tell you that they love you. What else? Make an offer that you've been waiting for? They're reaching for that. And that's, of course, the transactional energy. And then there's their ego still on their back as well in many ways. And it's, it's sort of like there's a vulnerability here. And that the vulnerability for me also is in this child, which is new beginnings. And that's overcoming some ego to apologize because that's the three of swords in reverse. That's the healing here in the queen of cups. That's the recovery energy. So there's... There is some three of three. Of, <laughs> there's some emperor in reverse energy for hear me today. And of course, that's Aries and Mars energy. And that's just some of the ego, you know, and some of the immaturity around that because they're trying to overcome that. I feel like they really want to because this is somebody who really loves you and doesn't want to lose you. And overcoming that ego to apologize, literally. What do you want to say to your Virgo through channeled love messages? Speak now. Maybe not forever. Hold your peace. My eyes are closed. There's such a peaceful energy. You are the most important person in my life. That's what they're also realizing in the hermit energy. Look at this. The lover's cart, the hermit, coming right here down to the Knight of Cups. Connecting with the message. Is that what they're going to tell you? Is that just today's message? It's, it's here today, but this is we see here also in the validation of the Wheel of Fortune that there's something coming in here that you've been wanting to hear. And I do feel like it's in a message and that it is a new start. What does that mean for you? There was one here underneath and it just slipped by. Didn't let me look at it. Your love awakens my soul and it makes me reach for more. That's the Herman energy. My gosh, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Of course, Mercury is your ruling planet, Virgo. My throat chakras 
really, really funky today. My six word love story, I can't imagine life without you. And I say that as in it's here in your reading, <laughs> my throat chakra. And that's because they have a lot to say in that Knight of Swords in reverse that will change everything. And it is going to be coming. We can see that they're just, it's, it's not, you know, right this second. You are adorable. My love for you will never change. After every storm comes sunshine. Let the separation end. Please be mine. Right there where seven of pentacles in reverse. Three. And this also. That's the last. I'm going to bring in some charms today, Virgo. I love you to the moon and back. Yeah, it's a lot of that energy here. From the first day I was attracted to you, now it's not only the attraction, but the love. I'm hiding my true feelings. You know how they feel as we went, that came through really very, very early. And that truth is coming. You are the pillar of my life. Putting this here before you go. Don't go. Literally, don't go. I mean, from your person. My pride and ego got in the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's right here. That's, that's the emperor in reverse, and that's the ego and the higher self here, because this is the higher self message and the ego. It's going right here where we felt that energy. Why am I still reading these messages? <laughs> I just realized that they kept them going. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so stop Virgo's person. All my life I have been dreaming of an angel like you. It's the Neptune energy. Also the Pisces energy. You know, the head in the clouds energy. We're going to bring in some totems today, Virgo. And we're going to close your reading. No love, No channeled song messages today, but maybe next time. Sometimes, yeah, we get numbers and letters. And those can be initials, names, locations. Wow. Wow. Sometimes they spell things out. There's a zero, but that could also be used as an O, you know. And the numbers, of course, angel angel numbers, repeating number pat number patterns, but birthdays anniversaries, ages, that sort of thing. Is this like a, um, is this like a pot? Is this like a water? What is this? I don't think that this is a scepter. It almost looks like it could be a scepter. It's not an onk. I think it might be a pot. Water. Boiling water, hot water. Interesting. Hmm. It's around the emotional energies. It Boiling up, look at the keys. You're both opening that up. And this has three little circles. It's like, not pentacles, but kind of. It's communication for me. It's the divine, divine timing, communication, growth, the key. That's insight. You open that, what's behind that door? It's something that you're meant to see here. And look what else is here. Another key with a heart. Somebody offering the key to their heart. High priestess energy, too, because we know it's decision time, you know, and things are being revealed. Look how interesting. There's money here today. Is that something that's been going on for some of you? Maybe. There is the zero. This is the full energy for me. Also, it, it can be that there have been some cycles. I do feel that the Knight of Cups has been in reverse for you at some point, and that's broken promises. Feels like, you know... That's part of the past energy. And it can be that that was ongoing. There's one. There's the new beginning. And, well, yeah, that's the potential, the possibilities. That's also connecting us to the magician, which you're in, Virgo. Gemini and Virgo. Mercury. More Mercury <laughs> energy as well. Manifesting soulmate energy. As above, so below. Taking inspired action here. Oh, Yeah. That's also making a 10, which it just made. We already know that. There's a two. That's the two of you. It's the partnership. 
That's the balance. That's restoring the balance. Both divine feminine, divine masculine energies within them, yourselves. You're both here in the Hermit card today. Getting some clarity. Get connecting to your, to your self and your heart and figuring out and your your the source, your God, your goddess, the universe, the divine spirit, and the spiritual connection, what you want. The duality, the dark to light, things coming out here, that's really connecting to high priestess energy here for me. Also, you are the pillar of my life. Yeah, making peace, look at that. I feel this, that's the thing. <laughs> I've been feeling really peaceful in your reading. An octopus, I'm going to tell you something. They live at the bottom of the ocean. When they come up, it's, you know what it's bringing with it? Ace of Cups energy. A lot of emotional energy here. It's like coming up for air. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, of course, a leap. That's change. I'm making sure that you can see them. I haven't forgotten about that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. It's an alligator. I <laughs> can be a crocodile. What is that? The crocodile, I think the alligator does this, and the crocodile has a mouth like this. Maybe this is the crocodile. Whatever the case, it can be resonating for you where you are, but this is also strength. And that's coming through for me, the strength of two. Look at that. That's also where that is, and that's the lover's card there. It's like the sun within, you know, protecting against anyone who wants to harm this connection. It's also kind of like a, like a labyrinth, but it's the sun energy for me here in this. And also, here's a kitty. I love this kitty. What is on this kitty? Try not to laugh, but let me see if I can find it just a minute. No, oh no, it's not here. Okay. Oh, well, I have a magnifying glass, <laughs> but I wanted to look to see what's on this kitty. I, I can't really tell, but it's a kitty, not se revealing secrets as well. And a kitty is really healing. I'm putting the kitty here with the queen, the queen of cups, although she belongs to the queen of wands, I think, because the queen, oh, yeah, let's put it here between the queen of wands and reverse and the queen of cups, because... That's the kitty too. That's the heart protection, you know, and that's what everybody's afraid of here because this love feels, this feels like a really big deal. They're scared here and you've been protecting your heart. There's a healing energy connecting also because the kitty is really hearing, healing the purr vibration is very, very healing and protective energy, revealing energy. Vulnerable energy, I want to say, but love language energy, letting somebody in, you know. Five. It's connecting to the fifth chakra. It's been really strong today. Communication and growth. Looking, coming here right with this angel, this guided connection. Angels are here today. And that, you know what else that is? That five is a little love nudge from your angel saying that everything is going to be okay. It's going to work out as it's meant to be. So if you're feeling like the lack of strength, that alligator, where did it go? <laughs> Here, is also there. Whoa. It's coming out of the conflicting energy too. And of course, that's the fifth chakra. Communication, clarity, truth. And hold it up, Virgo. That is your reading today. It's been my total honor. What a beautiful reading. If you enjoyed today's reading, I would really appreciate it if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Watching videos, liking them, sharing them if you're inspired to. Subscribing really helps support the channel. So thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it a lot. I wish you love and light on your journey. Best possible outcome for you. I love you. Take care of yourself and I will see you at another love reading.